Hi, I'm Rob Harris, your host of the show Five Minutes of Fame in Fenton. And I just read on the internet today, so you know it's true, that singing daily for at least 10 minutes reduces stress, clear sinuses, improves posture, and can even help you live longer. Those are all good things. And of course, like I said, I read it on the internet, so it's definitely true. Absolutely. So I thought, who could I go to to learn more about this? This is Brad Wright. He's a choir teacher in the Fenton School District. Correct. The director of the Ambassadors, among other things. Nice to yeah. meet you, Brad. Nice to meet you. Why don't you give us a little bit of background and history on you and the Ambassadors? Okay. Um, the Ambassadors was a vocal group that was initially started as a club. Mm -hmm. Maxine Archie, who was the vocal teacher at the time, had some students come to her and say, we'd like to do some music that's maybe a little more contemporary, maybe some pop, maybe even do some dancing. And she said, okay, we'll do an after school type thing. And <clears throat> she had a ton of um, response from her students and they really loved this format. And so the very next year it became a class. Mm -hmm. And they, ever since then, this is, this is 35 years now, mm -hmm. this is the 35th anniversary, and we have sort of tried to maintain that format where we do some vocal jazz, we do some pop music, try to do some stuff contemporary. The students bring some music in and we do some choreography. We work with a, um, a really nice sound system so they get used to singing on sort of professional equipment. Okay. And uh, so there have been about, f I think I'm about the fifth director in line. Okay. And uh, I was in the group uh, way, way back when. Uh, <laughs> right. Lynn Ferguson was the director at the time, yeah. and I, I got to spend three years in the group, and it made a huge impression on my life. And I, I left Fenton to go study music at Western, mm -hmm. and I got my degree in music education and found a job on the other side of the state uh, in a small town called Vicksburg, per, Vicksburg for three years I taught okay. there. And the job at Fenton opened up, Lynn had retired, and I came and applied and, knock on wood, got the job. And I've been here ever since. It's been 14 years, and it's been wonderful. 14 years, awesome. Yeah. And I just heard uh, recently through a friend of mine that the Ambassadors went to Washington, D.C., had a competition. Yes. And, and just nailed it. We did pretty well. We okay. did pretty well, yeah. Um, the competition is the Heritage Music Festivals, um, also through World Strides. And they do festivals all over the country. Uh, the DC festival was really well attended. There were nine, almost 950 students in bands and choirs from across the United States, mm -hmm. going as far as like Texas, and all the way into Canada and Quebec. Okay. And uh, the ambassadors performed in the vocal jazz and show choir categories. And you, when you do these festivals, there is a standard by which they rate, rate everybody. Sure. And there's categories like intonation and blend, dynamics, diction, energy, overall effect. There's like 10 categories. Okay. And so you're judged against a standard. And if your total scores combined equal a 90 or above, mm -hmm. they consider that gold. Okay. And then they average three scores between the three judges. And if, you're, if those three scores average above 90, you're considered a gold group. Wow. And so in vocal jazz and show choir, we received an average of 92 in vocal jazz and a 93 in show choir. Oh, my goodness. The kids did really, really well. Oh, so that's better than okay. That's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. We yeah. also had two um, students win maestro awards. And a maestro okay. award is given out to outstanding soloist mm -hmm. in a group. And there were 12 given out at the festival, and out of those 12, seven of them were for vocal groups. Okay. And of those seven, Fenton got two of them. Oh, wow. And the soloists were um, Colin Hoshkin, who was one of my tenors, yeah. and Jacob Lang, who was a four-year senior in the bass section. Okay. So that was kind of cool, too. That so, is very cool. Nice recognition. And I know you have, uh, you have some things coming up here real soon that we want to mention. Real soon. Go ahead and promote those things for yeah, us. Yeah, we have our, uh, our finale performance of the Ambassadors coming up on May 9th and 10th okay. at the Fenton High School Auditorium, the Ruby Zima Auditorium. Yep. The show starts at 7.30, mm -hmm. and what will happen is in this finale performance, we'll have our regular show music will be in the first half of the show, and then we'll have an intermission. The first half lasts about an hour. Mm -hmm. We have an intermission. And then the second half, we do this thing called the medley. Okay. And a medley um, is basically kind of like a mini musical. Yeah. The students write an original story, and then we plug in songs. Okay. This year, um, the students wrote the medley. The majority of the medley was written by Colin Hodgkin, pretty okay. talented young man. I hear it, yeah. And so they're going to be costuming the medley themselves. The, they will be working on vocals, and they will be um, 
acting a little bit because mm-hmm. there's a storyline there and we try to do a new one every year and people come back because they love seeing this medley thing and in that we're going to be adding between now and now in our show we're going to be adding about 43 new pieces of music okay which is between now and the show yeah in about okay. a week and a half okay the there's band be, I've, we've got a band some intense and, rehearsals some intense rehearsals yeah. yes yeah well, that so that's going to be exciting yeah we're really looking forward to that and we always uh the last night of the performance, we always invite alumni to come up okay. on the stage, and we sing a song called Together We Stand Aww. that Lynn Ferguson started Aww. doing in 89. Wonderful. So everybody yeah. who comes back gets to come up on stage and sing again. That's great, Brad. Any last uh, thoughts we want to share before we wrap this up? Um, just come to the show. Okay. The, um, the Like I said, it starts at 7.30 on the 9th and 10th, okay. Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Tickets are $5 in advance okay. or $7 at the door. And if anybody needs any ticket information, they can call the high school. Perfect. Or they can talk to anybody who's in Ambassadors that they know, and they'll have tickets as well. Or they can just um, try to find my email page in the school's web page, and I can I can hook them up with tickets. Well, that sounds great. Yeah, Brad, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate, appreciate you it. sharing that with us. Yes. Colin, I'm going to reach out to you. I think maybe we want to hear more about uh, what you're doing. That sounds great. Uh, this is the part of the show where we're going to say, Hey, Fenton, thanks for giving us five. Take care and be well. Well, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Five Minutes of Fame in Fenton. Hey, would you like to appear on this show or do you know somebody that should? Please send us your ideas for the shows at ideas at fentontv.com. If you're watching this show on Facebook, please click that share button and share this show with all of your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to the Facebook page. Go to FentonTV.com directly. That's ideas at FentonTV.com. Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and be well.